In today's video, I will teach you how to create a press text effect using GIMP. Let's get started. First, open GIMP and create a new canvas with the size and resolution of your choice. Once you've opened the canvas, you can now go ahead and type in the text that you would like to edit using the text tool at the toolbar. You can adjust the font size, change the font style, font color, and alignment of the text at the sidebar. And once you're satisfied with the text, go ahead and duplicate the text layer by clicking on the duplicate button at the bottom of the layers panel. Now, create a new layer by clicking on the new layer icon at the bottom of the layers panel. Here, make sure to name the new layer bump map and set the fill color to white, then click OK. Now, drag the bump layer in between the text layers, then select the top layer and click on the merge button at the bottom of the layers panel to merge the top text layer and the bump map layer. In the menu bar, open the filters tab and select blur, then Gaussian blur. Here, set the value to around 30 if your text has a similar size as mine, but you can adjust the value based on what suits your text better. Just make sure that it will look similar to this. And once you're satisfied, you can now go ahead and click OK. Now, create a new layer once again and change the name to surface layer and set the fill to your background or foreground color. Now, duplicate the surface layer and double click on the layer title and change it to top layer just to keep your layers organized. Now, with the top layer selected, go to filters, map, then bump map. Here, set the input layer to the bump map layer, then adjust the settings to your preference. And once you're satisfied, you can now go ahead and click OK. Now, select the initial layer and hold down the Alt key on your keyboard, then click on the layer thumbnail to select the text. Now, select the top layer and press the delete key, then press shift Control a to deselect the selected area. Lastly, go to filters, light and shadows, then drop shadow. Here, you can adjust the settings to your preference. If you wish to apply this effect on the texture or background image, simply repeat the same steps but instead of creating a new layer for the surface layer, simply import the text or background of your choice and duplicate it for the top layer. And you're done! If you found this video helpful, kindly like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell so that you can be updated whenever we upload new tutorials.